Hello, hello, welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna make another art stacks video for you and uh, of course I'm gonna use the papers from art stacks here and so this is the finished piece that I'm showing you and I used the um, dressmaker kit here it's uh, a kit with uh, a lot of original papers in it so they are really unique and um, I also use the enemies and friends if I can pronounce it right um, yeah but this is the dressmaker limited edition kit so I have used it some uh, in some different projects but uh, I'm showing you what I have so this is a paper that um, that is uh, sewn and colored somehow I don't know how because that's how it was when I got it so I decided to use it as a background here and I'm using my homemade transparent gesso to glue it on and also for some protection over the paper so and now I'm ripping a few of the other papers in the kit uh, they are some sewing instructions I believe um, I really like them, they kind of a vintage feel to them. Um, so I'm just adding them randomly here with my transparent gesso. And I have no plan as usual, you know that. <laughs> uh, there, are, there are a few of pretty girls uh, in the kit, so I decided to use this one because I think I will have to um, I have to accommodate the colors that are on the background so now I'm using some washes that I found in my stash that I think will match in the color um, green and beige is kind of I don't know weird colors for me to use I'm not really making it easy for me I feel <laughs> but you know I don't I like to experiment and try different things and some unusual combinations maybe so I will just see how it will turn out um, so a doily I like to use doilies um, but I'm thinking I'm gonna add the wordings on the doily so that's my plan here if I have a plan at all some more gesso on top and here is the, uh, the wording from the inspirational words kit from Artsax. And I really love those. They are on tissue paper, so you can just add them anywhere. And these are the flowers that I'm going to use from the animo <laughs> Enemies and uh, Friends kit. Um, I really wanted something more, so that's why I chose these flowers. Uh, around the girl kind of I like to use different things and here is a uh, word stamp text stamp that I often use and I'm not using black today I'm using vintage brown and this is my silky twister crayon it's a children's crayon from Panduro my workplace it's a craft store chain in Scandinavia and I like to use those because they uh, they are really nice to smudge with your fingers as you see you don't have to use those you can use other crayons or distress crayons of some sort or you can use pens also of course um, maybe you can't smudge them but you could use some water on a brush to just dilute them if you want to uh, so this is a quite easy one uh, another silky twister. I want some more of the light green color on here. But I think that will be it. Yeah. So this is finished. And if you look closely, you can see that it's sewn. The papers are, and uh, the background paper is sewn. Mm, what is it? Horizontally? No. 
yeah horizontally i think it's called yeah so this is it and thank you for watching and head over to art stacks if you want to see the papers or maybe purchase them um i will link it below of course and here is a link also thank you and bye